This is a mailbox. Or is it? How do you know if this receptacle for your letters and packages is as innocent as it seems? The truth is, you don't, because mailboxes are never innocent. They are a part of a greater conspiracy that we have been trying to uncover since the Ronald Reagan administration of 1980, but we have always come up empty-handed. We struggle to find their true intentions due to their ultimate secrecy, concealed in plain sight. Don't be fooled by their harmless appearance. You never know what inhuman thoughts are going on inside their sentient minds. They have an insatiable hunger, fueled by a ravenous desire for instant gratification of their primal instincts for bloodlust. Do you really think they stay in the same place in front of your house? Don't be a fool. How many hours a day do you surveil your mailbox? Because as soon as you look away, their master plan progresses further. Unbeknownst to many, mailboxes are capable of movement, and what they can do in the time you aren't looking at them is unpredictable. What do you think that sound was while you were sleeping last night? No, it wasn't the neighbor. It was your mailbox. While your fragile body was sleeping, your mailbox found its way into your house or apartment. What did it do while it was there? We don't know. Most people have never seen a mailbox carry out their nefarious plans, and the few who have almost never lived to tell the tale. Maybe they have been going through your contacts and leaving them unread, selling your number to every existing telemarketer in France, or returning fraudulent tax forms to the IRS under your name to frame you for tax evasion. But these are just the least malicious examples. Mailboxes are unpredictable. They are a public enemy and menace to society. What they will do next cannot be known or prevented. Do you really think the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty of 1991 between the United States and Soviet Union was about nuclear disarmament? Of course not. Both SALT I and SALT II were mere cover ups of secretive negotiations between the nations regarding the containment of mailboxes, and we all know what happened to one of the two. No one can save you now. Why do you think Richard Nixon visited the People's Republic of China in 1972? Does your feeble mind really believe that ping-pong diplomacy was as simple as a few ping-pong matches? Any sane person would know that the ping-pong players were mere guises, and what was actually happening was a series of covert intelligence exchanges on the rising threat of mailboxes without alarming the public. Now you know the truth. You can only grasp at the thin strands of time left we have on this earth before the mailboxes complete their master plan, and every second that passes, every action you take, every thought you have brings them closer. When you go to collect your mail, do you think your mailbox is complying to your demands? Is it just letting you have your mail? No. Every time you open your mailbox, your mailbox gets to know you better, and not in a friendly way. It keeps track of your behavior, your beliefs your values. It knows where you are at all times because it knows where you are not. It knows what you are doing at all times because it knows what you are not doing. It knows what you are thinking at all times because it knows what you are not thinking. It knows your greatest fears and weaknesses. Do not be tricked by the mailbox's simple appearance. They are known to rely on the cruelest forms of psychological warfare, whittling down your morale over time no matter how long it takes. Was the 1983 Soviet nuclear false alarm really caused by malfunctioning systems? Or was it an early attempt by mailboxes to induce mutually assured destruction of humanity by nuclear war? Your simple mind is always following the doom path your mailbox has already determined, and there is no way to escape it. As we await the inevitable fate that the mailboxes has already decided, it is best to appease your mailbox and make sure you are on good terms with it, for the mailbox mafia is inevitable.